Relic 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 not gonna do that now, but yeah, we're gonna go gamble, eat, and try to catch a fireworks show. One thing about that phone, yeah, say it with me. Let's go, go. This is the most unprepared trip, y'all. Dress so big, I'm gonna have the tide in the back. I don't have a comb, I don't have a toothbrush, but I have to go buy me one. We're gonna go to the aquarium though. Chanel Chance, original. Girl, what's going on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just flatter in the front. Let the rest do whatever they wanna do. Oops. See guys, it's like one of my favorite dresses. It's super wrinkled. It got the pockets. The back is out a little bit, but I had to tie it at the back. Right here. So it'll fit. Just have these Aldo sandals on. Lego. <laughs> It was almost walking distance. It was not okay, they wear my shades because uh, my lash is so long. Oh, them all handicapped or something? Yep. I'm trying to find Frank Frank cousins, y'all. Oh, look above us. It's above me now. Oh, <laughs> the sharks. Is that real? Oh, well, well, don't ruin my moment like this. Oh. She's such a hater. Anytime I'm enjoying myself or I know facts about something, she will sit and debate me just so to make me wrong. I, I never understand it, but she just ruined my moment. Yeah, well, I found him. What kind of turtle? This is a red or slider. Why are you so light? Look at the red or slider. Oh my gosh. And who feeding my baby at home? I can't wait for Frank to get that size. Go, baby. Oh, you see him come up? Watch this. He gonna come up to us. Oh, god dang. The coke's scary, y'all. Come on. You trying to eat? Come on, boy. Look. That's right there. Look. Sit up. but the camera can't go so uh yeah gotta go
need to put my glasses on. When I had my makeup on, I had my contacts on, I looked mm -mm, tired. It was real. Y'all was on the road. <laughs> Y'all was on the road. <laughs> what movie is that from, y'all? Yeah, I told y'all this in my last vlog, but I had to cut it out. Asked me why my pinky nail was real damaged and so she wouldn't do it. But sis can't go around without nails on, so I put a press on on her. Oh, wrong hand. <sighs> what about press ons? Pandemic press ons. Ooh, Nicole done left me in this car and it's hot. Can't even tell, girl. I gotta do what I gotta do because I cannot go around like that. No, ma'am. Y'all, thumbs up if you like Orbis. This child here. Who just say let's go to Arby's? Y'all know what's going on. Came to get us some fruits. Perk. Well, that didn't quite work out. It was one dude working and the line was to the door. We didn't even want to do him like that, huh? <laughs> so yeah, we can get fruit another day. Baby, I'm too tired. <laughs> Look, freak, freak. Hey, freak, freak. You don't hear your grandma over here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that your grandma? Hey, boy. All right, now. So I said, take this wig off. It's like... Girl, get your monkey. <laughs> Girl, y'all, show my mommy cuss. But I had to run to Michael's real quick, y'all, because I saw a video. I linked it in my last vlog. And I tried to go to the Dollar Tree in my last vlog. I don't know if you guys saw that. How to stand this stuff. Because they don't sell these stands anymore. I wish I would have found it at the Dollar Tree. Because this little thing was $3.50 at Michael's. But it's worth it to get my perfume to stand up. It works better if you got the bigger bottles. I see. But I had to just lay it sideways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm saying. They do sell these on Amazon in a pack. It's like $6. So if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, I didn't take my camera because it was on the charger. So I'll insert those clips off of my phone right now. All right, guys. So I left my vlogging camera because the battery was charging. It was hanging on in there in Louisiana. I look like I'm in disguise. All right, guys. So I found it. It's not a dollar. <laughs> Far from it. And you only get one. So it made me want to go home and order them off Amazon because you get like a pack for $6. But I'm here. I'm going to just get it. And I am just got last week's vlog up. And I'm about to edit my YouTube favorites while I do my hair. Yeah, I had to go out. Oop. <laughs> I had to, This was a chill day. Because I actually did two videos, recording and everything while I went out of town. I went out and left the camera. It's Tuesday. So I'll put those clips right here. It's really the next day. But I look... It's Tuesday. I look a little Monday-ish because... Suge was like, can I go to Hurricane Hope? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, sure. She get out dressed, get out cute, then go come in her last minute talk. Mama, you gotta take me to her house. Bro, I ain't, I'm still in the bed editing. So I had to just throw the dress back on and this wig back on. Girl, it's crooked because I took it off last night because it broke me out. The tea part wigs break me out. Y'all see that line right there? And then I done slapped it. I just slapped it right back on. But I'm in line at Starbucks. They got a grilled cheese today. It's, it's very rare. You can just come and find a grilled cheese, which I don't need. Because I'm I'm really realizing, Nikki, that cheese don't do great with me. It don't. It don't. So I'm going to call my um, primary care physician. Because I have been feeling great. Great. I had one mishap when I was in Louisiana. I ate some broccoli. And I, broccoli, I've been knowing for years. It flared me up. But I just love freaking broccoli, y'all. Anyway, um, to get a food test to see what all I can tolerate. Because I think it might be gluten and dairy. Hold on. Got to pay for my stuff. All right, guys. Like I was saying, I, uh, gluten and um, dairy. Because if I don't eat them too, I'm fine. Let me eat them too. I got IBS which is irritable bowel syndrome like i feel like i'm gonna die if i don't go and then when i go i feel like i'm gonna die 
it's just the weirdest stuff ever, you know. But I do need to make another appointment for the bank because my LLC amendment did come. Um, woo -woo, shoot, shoot. <laughs> my LLC amendment did come. I'm sorry if I'm looking rough, y'all. I told y'all I hopped up out the bed. Y'all get the real deal. Holy feel over here. I tried not to eat the end of that, but I didn't realize this sound was so high. I'm at $7. I'm going to eat every nook and cranny, okay? But what about her? Yeah, I need to make an appointment. Mm. I don't got nothing to say, but this sounds good. <laughs> yeah, little jealous, ain't you? <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I'm resting today. Like I just said, I did a lot of work and went out of town. Um, I actually had a, a very way better week than the week I had before. Um, I told y'all I was on my cycle and it was trying to drop and I didn't know it so it just felt like the world was finna end. But I am, I have been trying to make appointments all uh, today because I still want to get a colonoscopy and stuff just for peace of mind. Um, yeah, but anyway, Nicole is sick again guys. So I, I don't know if I need to try to get her into a regular doctor or what at this point because Last night, her body shut down on her. She was nauseous, that headache again. Um, she couldn't feel her legs. She just needed to rest. And I'm trying to tell Nicole she's dehydrated because Nicole don't drink water. She started mixing something in some water, now drinking it. And then she works in a warehouse, and so then she had to go to work. So I'm just trying to tell her, baby, you need to leave that job. Like, I get it. But, uh, I don't have a 9 to 5. Sorry, let me give me a Gatorade while I'm talking trash. I don't have a nine to five or whatever, and I know it's not that easy to just leave. But y'all, when y'all working y'all tails off for these corporate jobs, and y'all passing out and sick and stuff, when something happened, they go replace y'all the next day. I get it. You gotta work. You got bills, and I'm not the one to talk because clearly I don't have a nine to five. But I've had nine to fives, so I can't even imagine like fighting this this H. pylori and GERD and all this stuff, I'd have had to fight this past year with a job. I would have got fired because some days I physically couldn't get out the bed. But Nicole, I feel like, is pushing it. And so it's kind of scary because I feel like her mind frame, she's trying to avoid depression and anxiety. So she's the type of person, she's on medication, but she has to keep going. And I feel like, her keeping going she's avoiding her health problems now like something is wrong her body is shutting down on her every weekend so i don't know what to do i'm gonna just call my doctor and try to get her in because she don't have a she don't ever go to the doctor unless it's so she needs a, a actual primary can't keep running to the emergency room now 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 y'all know i know that i got 22 medical bills <laughs> do so, she's probably finna come home. She says something about she had to put some six or eight hours in to get her vacation paid from yesterday. But she really needs to come home and hydrate. She really do. I really wish she would leave early and I could take her to the IV bar. Because she need an IV. Hey guys, Nikki here. And this portion of the vlog will be brought to you by Root Logic. So, let's go. So many people suffer from headaches and migraines from time to time or on a consistent basis. And taking drugstore pills all the time is not the healthiest way to go. I recently discovered Root Logic, a supplement brand that combines modern medical insights and centuries of ancient healing knowledge from traditional Chinese medicine. This is perfect because my spouse suffers from migraines and take over the counters all the time that really don't help. The best part is they are all natural, the ingredients are entirely natural, and there is nothing confusing about them. They are U.S. grown and U.S. sourced, so let's see what my spouse feels about them. Sweetheart, sorry to wake you, but did the migraine pills work? Mm-hmm. Good, so-so? They -so. work pretty good. It took about an hour, I think, for them to kick in. Faster than anything you could get off the shelf, huh? Yep. Like you try, she's tried everything, and the only thing, only one medicine off the shelf work, and it don't even work as fast as those, huh? Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay, you can go back to sleep. <laughs>
All right, guys, let's get into the packaging. They come in a jar like this, which you can get this jar for $19 after my code, which will be below. I always leave the little protective seal on there and just like peekaboo it and dig them out or pour them out, but that's what's happening right there. So let me just show you guys what they actually look like. There's a silica pack in there to keep them fresh, and they are a gel cap. The Headache and Migraine Defense Supplement is made out of organic Risha Mushroom, Angelica Root, Morris Ruba Fruit, and Magnesium. All of these ingredients have evidence which show them to be effective in reduction of headache and migraines. So let's dig into some other supplements that they have on the website that I would be interested in trying. Thumbs up right now if you want me to try their other supplements. They have the energy boost and they have the immunity boost and you guys know if anybody need both it is me so they run about the same um very simple website very simple navigation they do have a money back guarantee they also have express shipping and you can cancel at any time there are plenty of reviews on the website free shipping on all orders and tons of information about their ingredients on their website. So guys, what are you waiting on? Go on over and check out these awesome natural pills. I'm quite sure there is something on their website that you will benefit from. So I will leave the link to the Root Logic My Brain Defense below, along with the discount code if I have one. Let's move into the vlog. Hey man, sorry man. It is Wednesday. I gotta go to work. <laughs> I don't switch to working every other day because y'all was trying to work your girl. And then, as you can see, now that I've switched to working every other day, I can get more videos out to you guys. So, me and Suge about to hop and skip and jump to work real quick. And who knows what else is in store for the day? You know? You know. All right, me and Big Suge done for the day. We knocked it out in about 40 minutes. Oh, let's clean this table out for a quick sugar. Uh, go ahead and get the Clorox wipes. Turn the light on. And just wipe it down with the Clorox wipes. This go. This who gonna handle their business? For me. Hey, look at it, y'all. One hand and then with nails. <laughs> Dude, I'm so pissed right now, Wells Fargo. I'm trying to withdraw some money. The machine kept my freaking card talking about something is wrong with the car and go inside the branch. I need my freaking car back. I'm aggravated, y'all. Dang. It's always something with this, this bank. Y'all saw so going to break the bank. They don't have any temporary cards. The ATM just done eight. They was like, you gotta go in the app and request another car. I'm like, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I mean, of course I got plenty of the cards, but and I'm trying to meet somebody because I was drawing the money off to help somebody with a situation and they're on their way to my house. So I had to stand in line, draw it out with two other forms of ID. And she had to show me how to use like the mobile wallet or whatever on my phone. And I'm just like, y'all goofy. How y'all don't have any replacement cards? Goofy, goofy. I'm aggravated like how the machine just go eat my card up like that like ate it up ate it ate it up Woo -woo Trying to help somebody out y'all it, it never fails. I mean y'all had this, these moments. I'm just sitting outside the house Vibing out with my suit UPS just left Looks like a bottle on the budget Yep, bougie on the budget. I ain't. Yeah. Yeah, I know he don't like this camera. For Frank. He's like, whatever. Girl, what's shit going like this? Alright, guys. We're gonna see. What they're gonna say about our little Franklin. Hurry. Oh, my water wasted. Let's go. Okay, look at him trying to get out. <laughs> the parent. Hey, boy, boy. Where you trying to go, Free Frank? Where you trying to go? 
anyone but this bottle. So for Frank, for Frank, what are you doing? And then how long has he been at your house? Since Christmas. Okay. Does he eat okay? Mm-hmm, very good. 40 grams. So, um, basically, you need to make like a little salad every day and make sure we get some salad. And then, uh, but treatment wise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna need a little surgery on that. We're gonna have to open up that abscess, get all that pus out of there, and then we're gonna get you on some antibiotics. And giving the antibiotics is gonna be challenging, but let me get a eyedropper. Yep, gonna do it right now. Oh, well, I wish we could watch. <laughs> So they cutting it off, I, I tried to go back, but they wouldn't let me. <laughs> we gotta get some greens, heat the tank up a little more, right? We really just need a bigger tank too. And then she gotta give him antibiotics every day. So Frank Frank is in surgery. My nerves dead, I can't even sit still, huh? Mom over here on her phone, unbothered. Cause I know my baby gonna be okay. He's strong over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big baggy dead. You scared for Frank? It's us. You heard it? You mad? We, we trying to see you. Fur Frank. Come on. Come on, Fur Frank. It's us. You scared, y'all. There you go. Hey, Fur Frank. Still swallow. Gotta keep him out the water for an hour. They like, why y'all recording me? Oh, he bleeding. You see it? Yeah, I know you hate this camera. All right, oh, let us see. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so if you watched the end of my last week vlog, I was telling you guys about how my oldest brother, who I don't really talk to like that, um, was asking me if it's something I need to tell him, am I sick, and I, I mean, is it something I need to tell him, blah, 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 blah. Um, that same brother, I got a nephew with him that I haven't seen in literally since Suge was little. My auntie sneak me pictures, or my auntie, because they stand in a little small country town in Oklahoma, sneak me pictures and all of that kind of stuff of him. Um, but for whatever reason, his mom don't want him or her to have anything to do with us, which... Ain't no telling what my brother did, said, clearly, I don't even talk to my brother. So, um, I found her on Facebook, though, so I'm about to do a friend's request and see if I can go from there. The harsh part about being somebody's auntie is you can't, like, take nobody to court or nothing to see this child. Um, but at the same time, I don't want my nephew growing up thinking that me and my other brother and my daddy and stuff, like, just didn't want to have nothing to do with him because my oldest brother is i don't want to call him no names but um yeah so i'm gonna do the friends request and i'll be back later and this is like the hardest thing in the world to do for me because if this girl try me i'm gonna have to contain myself because it's not about her you get what i'm saying but like i said it's been years and i'm telling what my brother did to her told her so I'm, I'm just going to be optimistic about this. Well, guys, I went back to see just about an hour later if she accepted the request and she blocked me. So, um, like I said, I ain't no telling what my, my, I ain't no telling what my brother did to her or told her. And it's very unfortunate. So now I'm at the point where... Like, This is so unfair. Like that boy got a whole nother family over here. Anyway, I'm at this point, I don't know what to do. Like, keep trying. What y'all think? Cause y'all always help me out with stuff like this. Cause I ain't finna give up. Because it's gonna be when he turn 18, he gonna know that he say Nikki was trying. And it's this, I don't even want to talk. Yeah, this is what you call ghetto. I ain't been online all day. But I'm finna show y'all this. You can get it from Amazon. It's Thursday, by the way, almost Friday. I'm 
gonna move this, but I need this in my room. Cause yeah. Just push the button. Oh, there you go. Get your water straight in your water bottle. I don't even know if y'all can see, hold on. Oh so, yeah, y'all can see. But it, cause but it. Y'all know I wouldn't be too much running out of water. I lost two. Oh my hair. It's Saturday. So hey babe. Babe got her hair done show there. Uh, <laughs> Alright guys, so I, I lost two waist beads. Like they literally just slipped off and broke right because they too big now. So I only got one on. But I, this is my favorite one. I love how thick the strings are and it actually ties. It's the authentic one. You know, everybody make waist beads nowadays, but the authentic ones from Africa actually on a thick string like this that you actually tie yourself um the other ones i had were like on a thin wire like string and them things popped and broke well they didn't pop because they got too big it got to the point where like i would pull down my underwear and stuff and uh yeah they would come down with it so i ain't even throw these away i'm just gonna cut them to fit let me get a little close i'm just gonna cut them to fit I'm just play. Cut that wrong. All right, baby. I gotta get some of these bees to go. So let's turn to the side so we can see how big these had actually got, which is really one of the points of waist beads. Can't pull my shirt and stuff up too much because she's too. Yeah, this shoe too. That's how big they got on me. So I gotta take about babe, how many inches off this string? Look at in the camera. Mm, about six, it looks like. About six inches. I ain't gonna go too much because I gotta oh yeah, I'm about ready to pull my whole shirt up. I gotta leave room for it to um tie. So let's just take about that much off and I honestly don't remember where I got these. Let me put this in here. So let's see if that's enough to make them at least tighter so that they're not falling off when I pull my underwear and stuff down. So they say about right here. It still look from the side. Let's keep it like that though. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You remember when I had that abscess and my body was first trying to tell me I was sick? And I thought my waist beads was stinky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had took my waist beads off and everything, yeah, because I thought my waist beads was stinky because I, I don't ever take these off right, babe. Mm -hmm. I shower with them, sleep sweating them. And um, <laughs> the whole time I had an abscess growing on my side and it was infected and it was trying to, <laughs> my body was trying to purge it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was probably this time last year, huh? Now that was like May last year. Yeah. Oh, I had went through so much. My body trying to get that H. pylori out. I need to do a recap of everything, every doctor's visit, right? Because it was like even some I didn't even put on camera because I ain't one of them type of people that want people to see me crying and stuff all in the hospital. Nope. I don't like that kind of attention. I think I've only put me on here in the hospital two times and probably been 20, huh, babe? Yeah. Let's get it some cut on that flap right there. Still a little big, but that's a whole lot better. Cause baby, <laughs> that thing will hang it to my poop. We came to work real quick. 
sea waters to go out since I didn't get to do it yesterday. There you go. Yeah, look how Nicole got me out. Dang. We were supposed to just go to work. She had to come get an inspection. I'm hungry, but I gotta watch my sodium, my blood pressure up again. Huh? Y'all, I just got through telling my how Nicole got me out, and the man was in there talking about some. What are you saying? He said, Can I have your number? He asked you though. Yeah, he did. But he was asking, he asked me. He said, Yeah, yours too. <laughs> what are you trying to do, y'all? Well, that man. We're on this place. We're on this place, mama. We're on this Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling today. Let's just hope this bin ain't locked. We'll know by how quick she turn around. She's cooking um chicken lasagna today for dinner. So I really should vlog that so y'all can see how she make it. Cause honestly, let me say, let me tell. Oh. Let me tell y'all why she ain't here. Honestly, Nicole can't cook. Okay, <laughs> she can't cook. That girl can't cook. But, um, yeah. Okay, so I wasn't gonna put this in here, but yesterday I didn't vlog because Nicole made me go to the ER because I was drinking in my sleep. Apparently, I was having like sharp, like contraction like feelings when I was sleeping, didn't know it. Turns yeah. out it connected you. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, turns out that um, my okay. blood pressure been tripping, yeah. All right. So I have to start taking those. They did stomach scans, brain scans, blood. I'm gonna add one and all that. So now we're really feeling like, you guys fine? Mm -hmm. We really feeling like it's a uh, hormonal menopause type thing because last week when I was on my cycle with my blood, blood pressure was perfect. Perfect. That's when I went to the cardiology. Oh, the week I was on my cycle. That wasn't last week. Perfect. And then now it's back spiked. So we finna I'm a guinea pig at this point. What we finna do? For the day. We're gonna get some new tech items. You know, you know, you know. Let's go. I didn't know she had already prepped and cooked it, y'all. This is the final results. It's ricotta, mozzarella, lasagna, cream of mushroom, spinach, and chicken. That's it. No salt or nothing. The chicken season, but I think it be bussin' bussin'. Look at y'all good get all sis. Watch this. I needed a sip. What's the problem now? What's the problem? <laughs> All right, real quick, in my mood, y'all, because I'm chilling. And I ain't going nowhere, but I had to tell y'all this. Y'all remember when I told y'all I had a project coming? Look. She don't want to be on camera all the time, so quit playing. <laughs> I just started talking. I didn't know. So, what was, uh, what was I saying if I was really interrupted? Ironically, I got this bonnet from there too, but I'm gonna tell you it's a disclaimer. There are not, or there is not, which one is it? There is not, there is not a lot of sets, okay? So this is limited. Hop on it, the link will be below. You go over to the Facebook page, hit them up, message them. Yeah, I know what I'm like. Peach bikini, arms, candles. Um, and request these they are three bracelets 75 dollars i want to say which is a dang good deal so just ask for the platinum bracelets purple set or the platinum bracelets platinum set so here's a picture right here of the purple set and i am going to show you two but it's going to come with three but i only have the two so this is what it Girl, this is so pretty. I just love purple. Let it focus on the bracelets and not me. Okay. Charms may vary. Everyone is not, everybody's charm is not going to be exactly the same. 
but it's the same color. So you will get purple with purple and gold stone, um, charms, if that makes sense. All right, and you will get three, not two. That's the purple set. So now I'm gonna put up a picture of the platinum set or silver set. And um, this one has three, so I can show you three. Some of y'all might already have them. One of them I already sold, I know it for a fact. Boom, boom, boom. I will put the link below, message them, and ask for the platinum purple set or the platinum, I can't even get it out. <laughs> or the platinum, platinum set or platinum silver set. So, while I have the camera going, maybe you feel like doing me some molds. You guys know I love my removable veneers. Okay, love, 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 love them. I got a hundred dollar coupon, I will leave below. Um, this is my second set. I have one set that I keep in my purse. This set is in my nightstand, okay? I do have an extra set. Thing is, since I'm losing weight, I didn't know. Did you know your mouth change when you lose weight? I didn't know that. So my top, my bottom ones are okay. Um, but my top ones, y'all, barely will stay in because I'm losing weight. So we have to do my top ones over. And they sent the molds. All right, guys. So, oops. Oh, I thought my edges. All right, guys. So here's the kit right here. If you haven't, you know, if you didn't know anything about these, I have an entire video where I FaceTime my friends and etc. to see if they notice the difference. I will leave that right here. It will scroll. Hold on, where am I? Now it's gonna scroll right here. It's gonna scroll either right here or right here. You can just click it and I'll leave it below. And um, I also did an update on them at the beginning of a vlog. So I'll put that vlog right here. <laughs> I don't know which way it's gonna scroll. So they send the envelope to send it back to them. I already stamped, so you don't have to pay for that. Um, the impressions kit. And they sent a whole kit, even though I'm just doing the top. Hold up, yeah, and then they sent more. So yeah, well, I think this is just for me. I'm not sure because I'm supposed to be surprising another friend with some. So let me see what's going on then I'll back. All right guys, it's me and my Moo. So I never got a chance to show you guys. <sighs> Look, the removable, the the removable veneers will have to be in next week's vlog because I never got to do the mold. Um, so I'm going to show you guys my fire body suit because I had took it out of stock and brought it back. I got like four new pieces I got coming too, but I want to do a totally separate video on my shapewear because I feel like I need to explain my old pieces, why I discontinued stuff, why I'm bringing in new stuff, and the bundles because the bundles was actually a gift and a curse because I was able to, you know, get a lot of people some shaper and stuff out but a lot of people didn't understand the concept of the bundles a lot of people didn't understand they're still available too in certain sizes a lot of people didn't understand that the bundles is not my stuff so i didn't want my shape or reputation tarnished by some 20 dollar bundles um it's kind of hard to explain people were like it, I didn't get what I want. Some of it was fitting too little. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, okay, if you want to guarantee a fit or guarantee something that you're going to like, how about you shop my line and buy some for $20, $30, $40 versus trying to get a $20 deal with five pieces in a $20 deal. But, no, I'm your ring ain't okay? So, I feel like I need to do an updated video because I feel like a lot of people didn't understand that the bundles were a mystery bundle for a reason. And it kind of could have tarnished my brand a little bit if you just shopping. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, today, I am going to show you guys thumbs up if you want to update it. Beauty room tour. It's coming together. <clears throat> my clothes are ready. 
Today I'm going to show you guys the fire. I've already showed you guys the platinum vest, the platinum plus vest, the relic, buttless shaper. And have I showed you guys anything else? I mean, not show, but like actually demonstrated it. So this is right here is the fire. The reason why I'm showing you guys this is because I had took it away for the winter because I designed this for under swimwear and etc. That's why the straps are so thin. That's why it is laser cut. Um, laser cut. Laser cut just means that it doesn't have any stitching and etc. And it's cut a certain way so you won't see the seams and stuff under. Which is good if you're on a swimsuit. So I brought it back because summer is here. It's hot. Everybody's living. Everybody's outside. So the only thing is it only come in large to 2X. Which is backfiring on me because I kind of feel like I need a medium now. No, I'm not a medium but I like to be okay so this is the front it's a very simple cut body suit with the breast out and here's the back it do snap at the bottom in case you need to get out of it and it's just a very good material okay so this is a large you guys know when i first started selling my shaper i wore a 2x in this so i literally had to go to the warehouse and pull me a large so let's try on a swimsuit without it and a swimsuit with it if i got a swimsuit that fit y'all of course, sis, gotta watch her angle. Gotta watch what she show. YouTube has been tripping. But this is me without the fire. Cute little swimsuit. So let me put it on and come back. It just pulled everything on in and made me look put together and it's undetectable. Can't do all that turning around and stuff because YouTube be hating now. So shop the fire. If you're watching this cold fire, let it get the light on me. If you're watching this, code FIRE for 20% off. Link below.